I'm going to show you some settings in Sublime Text that you can change in order to improve the editing experience. So to begin with, when you install Sublime Text, the default behavior when you're using a language module is to have it give you these suggestions as you type. And so you constantly have this list of, of suggestions popping up. So in this example, I'm using a live code script and uh, I type command and I can press the tab key and it'll autocomplete. Uh, and that's nice at first, but as you start doing a lot of typing, that becomes kind of annoying and you are, you're always having to dismiss it because you might get too many uh, suggestions. So what you do is you go into preferences and in your settings, you have you may need to add these, uh, autocomplete and autocomplete commit on tab. And what I do is I change autocomplete to false and autocomplete on tab to true. So after I save those, now when I come in and type, I can start typing and I don't get any suggestions. But if I press control space bar on OS 10, then the suggestions pop up. I can hit tab uh, and I can start, uh, you know, and I get all the benefits of autocompletion. Now, what I also did was I turned on tab autocomplete. And so let's say that I'm in a handler and I start typing. You see I have a, a local property, S runtime properties A. Well, I can start typing that variable name. After I do four characters, I press the tab key and live uh, and Sublime Text will autocomplete that for me. So I prefer that method of working. I, I use the tab key to autocomplete variable names a lot. And then I use, um, if you wanted to see a suggestion, you do control space bar. If there's only one suggestion, it autocompletes. Otherwise, you get the list that pops up. Now, the other settings that you might be interested in changing if you're using uh, something like Git to manage your project is the ensure new line at EOF on save. I set that to true, and what that means is that every time you save a file, you're going to get a new line at the end. And so I hit save, and that new line appears. So I delete. You know, right now I have nothing. I, I do command S to save, and that appears. That helps standardize all of your files so that you don't have some. Uh, I like standardizing the white space in in the file, and that just means I have less false positives in, in Git when I'm doing comparisons. Because the other setting I'll change is um, trim trailing white space on save. I set that to true. And what that does is, let's say that I have some spaces at the end of a function on, on this line, and I hit Command S to save. All those white spaces are stripped off, and so you won't ever end up with, um, you know, when you're when you're looking for uh, changes in your Git repository, you're not going to have a change that shows up because there were extra spaces at the end of a line. Uh, and the last one I do is I always do translate tabs to spaces as well. That's set to true. So those are some changes you can make to your Sublime Text settings, which should improve both the editing experience as well as, um, you know, standardizing the the white space in your files when you're when you're uploading to GitHub.